My dad and mom separated while uh, I was young. We were very poor. The one thing I remember about my childhood is my mom always said that God has something special for us. I had an opportunity to participate in a bus route ministry that I know now. And that's where I came to faith. The message was preached, the invitation was given. I was six years old. Brother Connors explained to me what Christ did on the cross for my sins and the sins of the world. And that Saturday morning, two o'clock, I opened my heart and I gave my life to Jesus Christ. Later on in my life, I was attending church. I felt this burning desire to preach the gospel. In my last year of college, um, I went to my pastor and I told him that I feel the call to full-time ministry. He gave me the opportunity to sit on him and I felt like I was in seminary already. And once New Year's night, he says, Erica, I want you to preach. And uh, God affirmed my calling every step of the way, every step of the way he affirmed, this is what I'm calling you to. I was at, in Colleen, Texas, serving at Fort Hood, Texas, and I was already assisting in the ministry with the youth. And lo and behold, Pastor Joe Rich asked me, would I be his youth pastor? Now, get this situation here. The church is 99% white. There's two black students. And the pastor asked me, would I be the youth pastor at that church? And he asked me in his office, let's kneel and pray. And I must be honest with you, I thought, is he kidding? I mean, nobody's gonna accept me to be a youth pastor here. And, but we prayed. I went home and I told my wife that the pastor offered me a job as a youth pastor at Memorial Baptist Church in Killeen, Texas. And I began to do uh, Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary by satellite. I was in seminary. And then all of a sudden, I felt desire that I want to go to seminary full time. So I literally resigned and moved to Fort Worth and took up uh, going to school. There in my life came a man named Dr. Dan Crawford. And I just kept uh, preaching and doing uh, discipleship now weekends as invitation was given to me. And then Dr. Dan Crawford came back and said, Eric, there's a program that IMB has where they send, they help students, seminary students go on short time mission trips. I had already shared with my wife uh, about the idea of being missionaries for a time. And she was like, you gotta be kidding. She says, well, I was doing my devotion in Hebrew and God told me anybody that draws himself back from him, he can take no delight in them. So honey, if God's calling us to a mission, I'm ready. Jerry Rankin came to Southwestern Seminary to preach at a chapel. And he says, there's someone God's been talking to you and this is the time that you need to stop fighting and surrender to a full-time ministry and as, as a missionary. And I, I came down, I wept, he hugged me, he loved on me. That day we stood, I, me and some others stood before the chapel and uh, people prayed for us that we would be full-time ministers. Then Jerry Oliveri came to, to seminary and he spoke and um, he, he told me, listen, man, uh, we're ready. Uh, the process of you starting your application to IMB. And six months later, after we had done IOC, we were in Campinas, Sao Paulo, Brazil. I mean, it was fast. My wife and I, we used to walk around and kind of look kind of crazy. Hey, we're full-time missionaries. <laughs> Can you believe that? We're full-time missionaries. We just felt loved and appreciated when we got here in Brazil. We had some awesome people to welcome us and to help us. And so uh, that's my story. <laughs> <laughs>